what is up Madden 25 gamers welcome to today's video today's video we're gonna be breaking down our run defense our inverted cover two run defense out of the uh, out of the excuse me out of the Detroit Lions playbook and it's out of the nickel strong formation we talked all about all about yesterday about the sugar three Siemens our base plan today we're gonna to talk about the cover three uh, and why we like this as our base run defense so what we want to do with this is we want to base a line we want to re-blitz our right of screen outside linebacker you see like this then we want to shift our linebackers to the right we want to crash our defensive line to the left as you see here and then from there we only have one more adjustment we're going to take powers here we're going to put him into a yellow zone and we're going to man line and then base align so that the zones are going to rebalance and uh, if you can try to get the yellow zones i don't think you can do it but uh, anyway um, one thing also you might consider is you don't even have to necessarily rebalance the yellow zones. If we take a look at this hook zone here to, uh, let's see here. So if we take a look at this hook zone to Abram, you see how it's already going out to the left. So that may be something that you can do. But what I like about this run defense is I like to pass commit and I like to shade coverage down. This creates that inverted cover two look. And then depending on wherever the run goes, I just kind of feel the edge. And kind of fill the void now with the flat zones the way that we have this set up the way that these flat zones are going to play is they're going to set the edge for us because we're past community because they're going to shoot out so really we're just required to fill the gaps and I, it's going to be hard to do but but when you do it you, you see how they see that right there you see how they're going to contain the edge and um, it's a little bit hard to show here but basically with your user control player you're just shooting the gap that the runner is going to choose. So it, you can you can if you want just hold turbo and he'll do it for you automatically. He'll just shoot the gap automatically and force him to the edge. You can do that if you want. And it, it's really not that big of a deal but make sure that he's in a, a deep blue zone. Make sure that he is in that deep blue so that the turbo will work. And then let's take a look here at maybe a run to the left side. You see you're still doing that and you see how they still set that edge for you. Um, so that's a nice little uh, feature that men kind of helped us out a little bit in terms of stopping the run. Um, what about middle run? What about you know guys that are running right up the middle, right over the center? Uh, let's take a look at. Uh, let's see if I have a dive in my audibles here. No, but I do have a zone weak, and I'll just run the zone weak, and I'm just gonna run it straight. So we're gonna run right at the middle. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it's hard to use it with two controllers, but. Uh, I know I say that way too often, but like I said, you just want to get down the box. Now, depending on what ideally happens is this linebacker is going to be like right in this area. And so you're going to want to sit right about here. And of course, you're holding that turbo and you see he tries to cut it up and you see you have those big beefy defensive tackles. So that's a basic concept of how we like to stop the run out of the nickel strong. Uh, not a whole lot to it. Uh, but I do like that blitz on the edge here. Now, what you can also do with this is potentially put docking on a straight down blitz angle. And you see it's just going to make that edge a little sharper. And it is a pretty good job against the stretch and outside run. So I know a lot of you guys have been struggling with that. So I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see what I like to use to stop it. And remember, the pass commit is important because it's going to shoot those flat zones out to the outside. Uh, a lot of people think that you shouldn't pass commit this year against the run. Uh, but unfortunately or unfortunately really uh, you should sometimes you should because they're gonna get that outside contain just a little bit better uh, that time we actually got a pretty good run by the running back but it was partially because I couldn't use her but like so example if we're just sitting here and this is another little example of something you could, you could just sit on the left side because that's where you're weak anyway and then just you know, lock up there but uh, obviously you want to user it a little bit better than I was uh, and, and of course you know you guys can work on that on your own uh, because I can't really show you how to do that uh, that's just something that comes with time but basically you're just filling the gaps with the user and everything else is kind of contained and this is just a, a inverted cover two run defense out of the nickel strong uh, for some of our more dominant run defenses stay tuned uh, but those are only out of select formations uh, so this is something you can do for every every formation in the game provide that flexibility for you uh, and I wanted to see what you guys thought of this run defense and try it out if you have success let me know if you have if you fail if you if you have trouble with it let me know and uh, We'll try to make it even better uh, for next time. Thanks for your time today, guys. Hope this video was beneficial. If it was, leave a like rating and retweet this video on Twitter. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you later.